Now, this is the igniter, the original one. Um, the igniter 2, like people sell, has a um, built-in protection. So, I mean, just like any old points coil or whatever, if you leave the ignition on, you're going to burn up your coil and burn up your control module. Uh, the igniter 2 has protection. And so, here's all our parts. They give us a little strap here, some nuts, and um, it's pretty simple. We lubed inside. We're already to this point and uh, ready. Let's go. One, two. Okay, so now we'll disconnect the old wires, hook up the old ones just the same, and uh, put our old unit aside, and maybe one day we'll be bored and try to fix it. As you can see, we will wrap the wires, twist them. It makes the field shielded so that any outside uh, really strong magnetic pulses from any weird radio waves aren't going to uh, you know, disrupt and send a false signal. So we do that, we wrap it, took it back apart to make sure because I realized that this isn't perfectly sealed here. So that way we have it adjusted with the length we want and we're gonna wanna put some epoxy and slip it back in there so that it is um, sealed and watertight because uh, you know, who knows how much water this uh, bad old beast is gonna see. Anyway. You know, get some loom, some zip ties in there. I'm going to make a little bracket here to hold this all neater later. But uh, it's all installed. We haven't tested it yet. We're going to need to adjust the distributor. It's slightly loose. About there is right. You know, almost with these two, are, these two are almost straight with the front. So we'll hook up our vacuum gauge. To any vacuum port except the PCV because that's always going to be open and sucking through these vents so we need to gauge it with that system in place. I've gone ahead as you can see I've hooked it up to the brake booster line only because mine slightly leaks so yeah. All right let's get to it. Let's move our gauge out the way.
let's see if she runs. Okay. She is idling beautiful now with this new kit. Uh, it must have been going bad for a little bit because it's uh, like a whole new beast here. It's running quieter, smoother. All right, check it out. That's where she wants to be, okay? It's about right. But what we do is now we adjust her forward. Until we get the highest vacuum setting we could get, which in here is, back her off a little bit. Really only about 20 right now here we're showing. Now we'll back her down until we get to 19 again. We get her adjusted about there. Two points below that highest setting. 19 is its little sweet spot. It likes it right there. She likes it right, right there. Now there you go. Now check this out. Now just like we got that there in our sweet spot, we could also tune the idle mixture screws back and forth until we get a higher setting, okay? And then fatten them up a little bit. I don't know, I've heard that. Then we could go back, check for highest uh, pressure on our timing again, because it'll change if we change the mixture slightly. Now I have a gathering to get to, so I'm going to tighten her down. One quick thing I'll show you here now. All right, watch this how I blip the throttle. She'll jump to zero. Up to 25 and back down. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. That means the carbs just rightly tuned everything. Time perfect. The front two plug uh, wires there in the cab are parallel to the radiator. So that's a good rule of thumb. Let's test her out. Stay tuned. 